वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस इन दिस वीडियो एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस दीज आर माई स्टेशन आउटलाइंस वेर फर्स्ट आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग बेजिक्स ऑफ एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट सिम्बॉल्स विच इज असोसिएटेड विथ एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू आइडियल वर्किंग ऑफ एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस इन विच आई एल शो यू हाउ एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस दैट कैन बी शॉर्ट सर्किट और ओपन सर्किट आफ्टर दैट एट द एंड आई एल एक्सप्लेन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच इज देर विथ एन मॉस सो लेट एस बिगिन दिस सेशन विथ फर्स्ट एजेंडा दैट इज बेजिक्स ऑफ एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट बेजिक्स देन एज पर द नेम वी शुड नो दिस सी एन मॉस मीन्स वॉट इन दैट channel will be of electrons n stands for electrons so in n mos there will be channel which will be of electrons for its operation and in p mos channel will be of holes p stands for holes so in p mos there will be channel of holes so in n mos channel is of electrons that's why it is referred as n mos and in p mos channel is of holes so when we talk about n mos in that substrate will be of p type material and when we talk about p mos in that substrate will be of n type material so in n mos channel formation will be there with electrons and in p mos channel formation will be there with holes and channel will get formed in substrate where in n mos substrate will be of p type material in that there will be formation of channels with electrons and in p mos substrate will be of n type in that channel will get formed with holes now when we talk about its operation then in n mos current drain current that will flow from drain to source while in p mos drain current that will flow from source to drain so in n mos drain current that will flow from drain to source while in p mos drain current that will flow from source to drain so in n mos drain current direction that will be there from drain to source while in p mos drain current direction that will be there from source to drain so these are the basics that one should know regarding n mos and p mos now i'll explain you different symbols which is associated with n mos and p mos so let me draw symbols of n mos over here so when we talk about n mos then there are various symbols that you will be finding in different questions so here i'll be discussing about all different symbols which is there with n mos so if you observe in its symbol then there will be three terminal that may be shown to you where over here you see this is gate terminal this is drain terminal and this is source terminal right and if you observe with source terminal arrow that is indicated in this direction means this is n mos and in that drain current direction that will be there from drain to source so id current that will flow in this direction and if you see basic symbol of p mos then there can be three terminal p mos that we can have and in that if you observe we are having three terminal p mos over here where this is gate and if i say this is source then in that arrow that will be there in inward direction and if i say this is drain then arrow is there with source and drain is like this and as i have told you in p mos current direction that will be there from source to drain so with the direction of arrow we can say this is how current direction will be there right so this is how basic symbol is there now sometimes you will be given with this type of symbol let me draw it over here first with p mos and n mos so here if you observe we have drain terminal and we have source terminal but there is no arrow which is indicated but in notes there will be given to you like current is flowing from drain to source means if it is written if current is flowing from 
drain to source means current is flowing like this in that case we can say this is n mos transistor and if you have symbol which is given like this without error and when symbol is given with without arrow in that case if current direction is given where it has been said current flows from source to drain so if current direction is like this in that case we should consider this symbol as pmos symbol so this is very basic thing that one should know right now there are few more ways by which we can have nmos and pmos symbols so let me draw one more symbol where here you see we have capacitance that is been shown by two parallel plate right but sometimes there can be single plate so it may be given like where this is drain terminal this is source terminal and you see there is a single plate right this is gate terminal so here we have shown with arrow what it means this is nmos symbol and there can be similar type of symbol which can be there with pmos where with source terminal which is over here and if arrow is there in inward direction right then this is what symbol which is associated with pmos so this type of symbol may be there even right so one should know about this symbol now i'll show you one more symbol which is there with nmos and pmos so as i have explained you in its structure even there can be four terminal nmos and pmos right so in case of four terminal nmos and pmos you see here we have drain terminal this is substrate terminal and if if substrate terminal is having arrow which is there in inward direction that is even said as bulk or base that one can say this is gate terminal and this is source terminal so if substrate terminal that is there in inward direction then we can say this is nmos symbol right and this is what enhancement type nmos right so this is what enhancement type mosfet that even we can say so in this we have arrow with substrate terminal or one can say this is bulk bulk means what substrate terminal right so with bulk arrow is there with inward direction means this is nmos symbol and this is what a basic symbol which is there with four terminal mosfet right where with bulk terminal arrow is there with inward direction in nmos and as if we talk about enhancement type pmos in that again there will be four terminals so this is gate terminal this is drain terminal but if you observe bulk terminal direction then it will be there in outward direction so this is my bulk terminal and this is what source terminal right usually we write source in upward direction and drain in downward direction the reason is in circuits you will have to connect uh, source with upward and drain with downward in case of pmos right so this is what enhancement type mosfet with pmos configuration so this is one of that symbol that one should know and one more uh, possibility that may be there with you like see if there is no arrow which is shown but over here if there is a bubble then this bubble indicates pmos right so there is one more terminal that is this bubble right so i'm not drawing separately you just understand it from here if bubble is given over here which means you will have to consider this is pmos right and if no bubble is shown in that case we can say it is nmos so sometimes you may not be given with statement where current is flowing from source to drain or drain to source but in that if bubble is shown then we can directly say this is what pmos symbol so this is about symbols now i'll explain you ideal working of nmos and pmos so to explain ideal working let me draw symbol of it so here i'm going to draw a symbol of nmos right 
and here I am going to plot PMOS symbol. So you will see in PMOS we have arrow which is there in inward direction and here we have a source and this is my gate terminal and this is my drain terminal right now what will be ideal working so ideal working that we can understand based on what will be biasing voltage which is given at gate right so if i say here with gate we apply logic a right so in gate if we apply logic a right and if a is equals to 0 right in that case drain current that will not flow from drain to source right so if drain current is not flowing from drain to source means you can say this drain and source terminal that will be open circuit right so in that case you will be finding drain to source that is open circuit ideally it should work like this right and to understand second possibility where if a is equals to logic 1 so if a is equals to logic 1 right in that case you will be finding this drain to short drain to source there will be flow of current means we consider that as short circuit so drain to source there will be short circuit which will happen as if you apply logic 1 at gate side right so this is how nmos is functioning and as if we talk about pmos functioning then that is completely opposite to nmos in which if i say gate is supplied with logic a and if a is equals to 0 in that case there will be flow of current in between source to drain and direction will be from source to drain so if a is equals to 0 there will be short circuit which is there in between source to drain right so we can say source to drain there will be short circuit ideally and if a logic high in that case source to drain that will stay in open circuit you see by open circuit i am showing it right so source to drain that will stay open circuit over here so this is how ideally nmos and pmos that functions so whenever you analyze any circuit which is there with nmos and pmos then by logic high and logic low we can directly identify working of any circuit which is there with NMOS and PMOS. Now I'll explain you input and output. To understand input characteristic we have a graph which is there in between drain current and input voltage which is VGS right. So here we have drain current and as I have already explained we have and MOSFET over here so this is my gate this is my drain terminal outward arrow with source right so input that is given at VGS right so input voltage is there in between VGS so G is positive and S is negative right so in input characteristic we are plotting this drain current with respect to VGS voltage. Now here see initially when you increase VGS voltage so initially there will be no flow of current right so ID that will be equals to 0 means this NMOS that is there right as current is not flowing but if you observe after threshold voltage see this is what threshold voltage and for NMOS I am writing VTN so after threshold voltage as if you increase VGS then current will flow so as current is flowing right in VGS is greater than VTN 
there will be flow of current means this nmos that may be there in linear or so see below vtn this nmos that will stay in cutoff region and above vtn this if vgs is greater than vtn then this nmos that may be there in linear or saturation region now i'll show you how it could be there in linear or saturation region in output characteristics so here our output characteristic that is there in between drain current with respect to output voltage which is vds so here output voltage that is there in between these two terminal where drain terminal is positive and source terminal that is negative right so now as if you want to understand how characteristic is there then if vds that is negative here vds is zero right so if vds is negative drain current will be zero so if vds is less than zero means negative then this nmos that will stay and one more possibility is there if vgs is less than vtn then even drain current will be zero right so in that case even one can say this nmos that is there in cutoff region now as if you want to understand if you increase vds further then there will be linear increase of current right so here there is linear increase of current so this is what linear region that one can say now in linear region one should understand this see this vds voltage that is that is lower than vgs minus vtn and see this is vgs minus vtn that is driving voltage that one can say right so till vds that is lower than vgs minus vtn there will be linear increase of current with respect to vds right so this is what linear region where vds that is lower than vgs minus vtn so if i further increase voltage which is greater than vds which is greater than vgs minus vtn then this nmos that will go in right so see if vds is greater than or equal to vds minus vtn in that case this nmos that will go in saturation region so that is how different regions of operations which is there with this nmos transistor right so i hope that you have understood this video now see in next video i'll be going to explain you what will be exit value of drain current in different regions and how to calculate that so th that session will be helpful to you to solve problems and here i have made this session based on request of students he was been uh, saying me like uh, sir can you please make video where we can understand how we can solve numericals so once you have this understanding definitely numericals will be easier for you to understand right so in next session i'll be explaining at what current this nmos will stay in linear active means linear saturation and cutoff region so all those things that we will discuss it in next session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions